Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to another day in the life. Hey, so I am traveled up to Jacksonville this morning. Uh, I'm actually here now, got up, left early this morning. It's about eight o'clock. I've got another appointment to get my tooth fixed. A few months ago, it is now at the point that we think that it's healed. So I'm gonna go get that checked out later today. I've got that appointment for the day. I'm gonna show you what I'm up to. Gonna catch up with some friends here in Jacksonville as well as get some work done, uh, take you along, show you everything I eat. It's gonna be a great video, lots of fun, and let's get after it. As far as my fasting goes for the day, I stopped eating last night at around seven o'clock. So if I make it to noon today, uh, that's gonna be 17 hours. I don't really know what the plans are as far as whether or not I'm gonna break my fast early. A day like today, my plan is actually just to do kind of 17, 18 hours at a minimum. And then based off of how I'm feeling at that time, today may be a one meal kind of day. So I've got some flexibility in my plan. I'll make it to at least 17, 18 hours. And then at that time, I'm gonna kind of gauge my hunger. I may do one meal today just cause I am in Jacksonville. So I may find a restaurant where I want to do my one meal, kind of leaving that up to kind of how the day flows. So that's my fasting plan right now. So I said that I was gonna be meeting some friends here today and I'm actually, my hair is very long right now in my beard. I need to get a need to get a haircut and get that taken care of. My barber Vince, who I went to for years when we lived here in Jacksonville, I made an appointment with him. So I'm gonna see him a little bit to get my haircut, get my beard trimmed up and just look forward to catching up with Vince. But in the meantime, I am here at the St. John's Town Center, a place that I used to go a lot when we lived here. I'm going to get some Starbucks, have some coffee, and I'm actually going to work in my uh, online coaching business. I'm going to do some client check-ins, write some programs, as well as write some scripts for some of my short form videos. So my appointment's not for a, uh, a few hours, so I'm going to get some coffee, get some work done, get after it. All right. So set up here, I'll probably be working for about the next hour and a half, but I did get a uh, an Americano to drink, a Grande Americano is probably my go-to. The only drink I'll get from Starbucks because I'm mostly drinking black coffee. But one of the things that I am trying to do this year, I am trying to get back into clean fasting. I think I did clean fasting when I first got started with intermittent fasting, I did it for a few weeks. Um, and then really I adopted a dirty fasting method, which essentially means you know, during my fasting time, I would drink zero calorie uh, drinks. I would have zero calorie sweeteners, things like that, whether it be a diet soda or a sugar-free energy drink. And I would say for the most part over the last three years, I have really been following probably about a 50-50 split, maybe 60-40 clean fast versus dirty fast. You know, three, four days out of the week, I may do a dirty fast, meaning have a diet soda or a diet energy drink. Uh, but since the first of the year, I am trying to get into clean fasting. I'm essentially only going to have water, black coffee, maybe some of those element salts. One of the things that I'm not going to do is I'm not going to do diet sodas. I'm not going to do sugar-free energy drinks during my fasting period. I'm going to cut those things out during my fasting period. So having an Americano now and gonna get some work done. All right, got about an hour and a half of solid work done. Now it is time, I got my uh, appointment with Vince, so I'm gonna go get my hair cut and really looking forward to, uh, to seeing Vince again. I was having him cut my hair probably for the last two years consistently. Uh, he left the barbershop that I started with. He came over and actually opened his own like studio here and has been working for himself for over a year now. But that's one of the things him and I kind of bonded over in this last year is we both kind of had that entrepreneurial spirit. So I really appreciate that. And honestly, not only am I looking forward to getting this thing taken care of, but I'm just looking forward to, uh, to catching up uh, with Vince. What's good, man? What's up, good to see you. You too, man. How's everything? Good. Really good. You want to go back to the hard part? Yeah, medium skin fade, hard part. And then I want to get your professional advice on, like, if I were to grow out my top. Yeah. And in the next, like, six months, do, like, the Viking cut. You know what I yeah. mean? Where it's, like, undercut or whatever. Oh, you told me. Could that. I do it? Yeah. 
Absolutely. Maybe only take off what you need to, to blend it or whatever. Yeah. I wear hats most of the time anyways, but that way I am yeah. like prepping it in case, in case I want to do like a dramatic thing down the road. For sure. So skin fade, nice and tight through here, hard part, maybe a slight trim up top, kind of preparing you for the Viking cut maybe in a few months. Yeah. And then nice cleanup on the beard. Definitely this. So I like the length. Yep. It's just this stuff here. Like, right. Just through here? Yeah, through okay. here. Um, mustache is driving me crazy. I mean, I, I am at the point now, I Travis, I took I I took a picture and sent it to Travis and he was like, man, you grow out the mustache, I'll grow out my beard and we'll swap places. love the way that I look when I get a haircut. Grab some fancy water from Vince. Hair's looking good finally. Now it's time to head across town and get to my first oral surgeon appointment. Appreciate you. So right now, if you look at your image, we placed that implant and we placed it in such a way where it's underneath the gum tissue, right? Yep. So what we have to do is to uncover it and expose it to the environment. We're gonna put what's called a heel in the butt on it. Okay. So yeah, they're gonna make sure that the implant is good right now, everything took, and then they're gonna look at it and put that healing thing on it. Then I'll go to the dentist who's actually gonna like make the permanent fake tooth. How's everything? Good. Good. No problems, pain? No. Okay. Like for me at least, it's been like picture perfect. Yeah. No, no issues, no complaints. So I can't tell you how many times I get the comment and people saying, when are you gonna get that tooth fixed? When are you gonna get that tooth fixed? And the reality is we've already started this process. So one thing I tell people is like, it is a process. Yeah. Sometimes you can do it quickly. Um, in your particular case, we wanted to go slow. The more you try and do in one day, the higher risk of implant not taking or having a complication. So if you go slow, systematic, success is- Oh, I love slow and steady. You're speaking my language now. <laughs> so today what we're gonna do is, we're gonna uh, probably get you numb, check on the implant, make sure it's nice and solid, and put a little cap over there, and then we'll get you over to the dentist and they can put a temporary on there for you. Awesome. The thing that he did that he talked about, like to make it look good, you gotta have a good gum line. So when he was in there, he actually changed the flipper. I don't know what it did to the gums, but with the idea being like shaping the gums is an important part of the process to it's have it look curtain. real. It's the curtain. That's what, exactly what we were talking about. We went from a cover screw to a healing abutment because of that, they call it ovate ponic, that kind of an egg shape kind mm -hmm. of that goes up in there pushes the gum tissue with your flipper that the tooth's gonna kind of come out of. Yeah. So that it looks natural, the gum tissue looks serrated. Right, exactly, yeah. So. All right, good stuff, man, appreciate it. So the great news is that everything went well. I got that healing thing in there. I can't wear my flipper. They may have to make some adjustments on it, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make to get it fixed permanently. So I am done now with the oral surgeon and I'm headed over to the dentist office where they are going to do a scan of my mouth so that they can work on making the permanent tooth that fits my mouth well and looks natural. So head over to the dentist now. How are you today? I'm doing well, and yourself? I'm doing great, thanks. Good to see you, ma'am. What we're going to do is, I need to look and just sort of see, mm -hmm. but more than likely, high probability that we need to do a little training of your gum tissue yep. now with a temporary crown before we're ready to make a final restoration and just kind of verify everything. So what I want to do is gather some models of your teeth today, do a diagnostic wax up so that the next time I see you, I'll get you back up here and we'll actually fabricate a temporary to go in there and replace this tooth. And so you'll have something to be fixed in place. Probably let that sit for at least at least four to six weeks at a minimum to okay. sort of see how the tissue develops. And then we should be ready to 
kind of proceed with getting a final restoration. I think everything really looks nice here, but with there being no permanent contact between the adjacent teeth here, there's just very little development of the gum tissue here, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, so there's not much. And you'll see what's really an interesting phenomenon is when you have contour of a tooth here again, how much your gum tissue will recover, like the little, what we call papilla, which are the little points between your teeth. And again, we're going to take models of your teeth right now. Then we're going to fashion out of wax. We're going to basically build a tooth to match your adjacent tooth as much as we can at this point in time in time in terms of contour. From that, we'll take a mold. Next time that you're here, I'll actually use a mold of this wax that we're making today. It'll have like the ideal shape and form of that tooth. And then we'll utilize that to connect a temporary crown made from that mold to an attachment called an abutment that will fit into the implant. And we'll okay. connect the two together and kind of shape the contour and the gum line of it all and get it looking really, really good. And um, should be in great shape with that. So that appointment went very well. I still have my flipper, but they did the mold so that they can make the temporary implant that I'm gonna wear while my gums grow and get ready for the permanent implant. So all in all, great appointment and look forward to coming back up to get the temporary implant and then I'll get rid of the flipper. So that'll be here in a few weeks. So looking forward to that. So it is about five o'clock right now. I'm getting ready to break my fast. It's time for dinner. I didn't work out today, so I am gonna do one meal. That's one of the things that I look at if I'm going to be doing one meal or not. I talked about earlier, like I hadn't decided what I was gonna eat. I went straight from my haircut to my appointment, got some more work done and like really through that time, one, I wasn't hungry and two, I didn't really have time. So like a day like today where I'm not training, it's very convenient. I really like doing one meal. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna do my one meal here at Island Wing Co. Grill and Bar. I'm not sure how many of these there are. I know there's a few of them, at least in Jacksonville, uh, but I'm looking forward to it. They actually have no deep fryers in the entire restaurant. So all the wings, the French fries, everything is air fried in like um, commercial grade air fryer. So it's gonna be really good. It's one of those places that I can't eat while I'm down in Melbourne. So I'm gonna hit it up now. So that's what's for dinner. I really am having a hard time deciding what to get. I kind of want French fries because they are air fried and I don't eat fries too often. But then for appetizers, I was looking at getting the mozzarella sticks, which mozzarella sticks are just awesome. And they're also not fried. So like in my mind, I can't have everything I want. So I'm trying to decide between those two. And I think I'm going to go with the mozzarella sticks. Well, I didn't realize it was a, uh, a live guy actually playing, which is pretty cool. Playing good music at least. I'm not going to have to deal with that much longer. So they're a little hot, but I'm gonna be glad that I went with these over the french fries, super good. And because there's no oil, it's essentially cheese with a little bit of breading on it, so good. So if you could have been in my head as I was trying to decide what to eat, there's a lot of things I'm thinking about, especially when I don't really want something. Like obviously I want wings, but I was like, do I just get a six count of wings and then a main course that's more diversified? And what I settled on was I got the 10 count wings to go along with the cheese sticks and then a side salad. So I ended up going with a side salad with, you know, a few different veggies. Again, people are gonna hate on me for the uh, adding salad dressing to it, but whatever. That's what I say to that. But they did have an interesting choice for the dressing, which is wasabi ranch. And I like it. It's it's interesting. I like it. I mean, there's nothing not to like about ranch, and I like having that little wasabi, that little wasabi kick. Super good. Buffalo wings were great. I probably like the medium buffalo a little more than the garlic palm. A little drier, but still good. Um, if I could go back in time, I would have gotten more buffalo or more wet wings. It's more used to what I'm eating. If we call it maybe 600 calories for the, uh, for the cheese sticks, maybe another 800 for the wings, um, plus the two things of ranch, I'm probably right around 
1,800 calories for the day, maybe hitting 2,000, and I'm absolutely stuffed. Other than that, thank you so much for coming along with me today. I hope uh, you have enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed bringing you along with me. If you like this video and want to see more, I'm going to leave another video on the screen here now. Be sure to check that out. And remember, we're not looking to lose weight fast. We're looking to lose weight forever. Thanks again, and I will catch you in the next video.